For me, it was always a case of like locking myself in my room at night time when everyone was asleep and I'd write terrible poetry <laughs> and like play music and listen to all these like when you do secret stuff. records and like it was always a point that was always a magical moment for me like of where I sort of really lived out my life. I mean, the record really is like snapshots of what we'd been doing in the year and a half before we started writing, which was basically traveling around the world and getting drunk <laughs> no, traveling around the world and like it was like being on an eternal road trip and I, I love that that's the sort of feeling I want from the record it's like a road trip but in terms of where we live in London we live in one of the few sort of still kind of poor areas that still is East London it's still very different from the rest of London. It's really vibrant, it's amazing. It's cool. And with all those people, it's like that's where all the artists and musicians gravitate towards because it's cheap to live there. So like there's so many of our friends live there, you know. We're sort of running into people all the time. Gary from the Libertines lives there and Dev from Lightspeed Champion. We bump into him in the Bobby Gillespie from Primal Scream. I see him in the supermarket all the time. <laughs> You are fever, you are fever, you ain't born typical. You are fever, you are fever. There's so many bands in history that have got like a really special kind of chemistry. But most of those bands are bands with all men, you know. And so it's, it's seen in a different way. People focus on the musical chemistry. But when it's a boy and a girl, people focus on sexual chemistry well, maybe I mean it's because it's the boy and a girl do it you know playing music together I think that's and it, I mean it's a we kind of do cocoon ourselves away and not come out and leave the world and forget what's happening and have no idea what's going on in the news and bands and anything you know we don't know when we're working and so I guess that you know there's a lot of tension you kind of drop out of society and you create this completely different environment that's absolutely ideal just played and played didn't listen to any other bands just tried to forget all our influences musically and we just we played until we were hypnotized by what we were doing and that was it really i think we just i mean we kind of you know we really concentrate on making each other stronger in the studio you pushing each other and pushing each other and pushing each other from the very first day we started we would sit opposite each other and just stare at each other and try and feel the sort of some kind of energy and electricity between us we are Hi, we're the Kills. Um. We're the Kills? <laughs> <laughs> you are watching my music. <laughs>